pandemic, many people in Arkansas have found themselves in need of help when it comes to making rent payments. Today, Governor Asa Hutchinson recommending $4.2 million be used for short-term rental assistance. Jay Burr has more. Governor Asa Hutchinson's plan for short-term rental assistance will be for people whose work status has been affected by COVID-19. He feels this will help the whole housing circle. To be able to make uh, their rent payment, that helps the tenant, it helps the landlord, it helps the mortgage to be paid. Democratic State Representative Frederick Love also works for the Pulaski County Housing Agency and sees those struggles firsthand. He says this is a step in the right direction since the federal government is currently at a standstill. I applaud the governor for what he's doing uh, and working with us to, to ensure that, that uh, our Kansas at a ring. Um, are getting the, the assistance. This funding will be available until the end of the year, and the governor says those Arkansans who need this will hopefully catch up by then. Come January, all the bills become due, and you can have foreclosures, you can have uh, uh, evictions at that time, and that is not the solution. Representative Love thinks more will need to be done, though. Something is better than nothing, but I do believe that we're going to need a, a, a larger Arkansas stimulus package to address this issue. Love also believes this is something that will have to be followed up on when the general session convenes next year. I don't think that this economic crisis is just going to end, you know, come January. I, I, I think that we're going to have to really put some thought in how do we really stabilize Arkansas families. The governor estimates that this will help approximately 3,500 Arkansas homes. The funding, though, will need to be approved by the legislature.